Good evening, everyone. We can't say shine, shine without smiling, right? So let's try that again. Shine, shine, three ninety nine. It just automatically uh, brings a smile to your face. And when I look out here at everyone, when I look at the graduates, it definitely brings a smile to my face. Um, the, our young queens, our young kings, congratulations to you guys on a job well done. And as everyone has said before me, make sure that you keep these teachings with you always and impact your families and your communities in a positive way. So let's give them a round of applause. Let's give our parents a round of applause for making sure that your children realize the importance of participating in this powerful um, organization, Flatbush Leadership Academy, wanting to support our children, the God Squad, because oftentimes when we think about the things that plague our children, right? Everyone is so quick to, society is so quick to judge our children from a negative place. But I oftentimes leave with this question, how are the children? There are some African nations, that is their greeting. When they greet each other, it is how are the children? Here in America, when we greet each other, it's how are you? Wow. wow. Right? How are you? That's how we greet each other here in America. But in some African nations, the greeting is how are the children? God Squad has all these statistics. Flatbush Leadership Academy has all these statistics. Being a principal in the New York City Department of Education, I have all of the negative statistics of the things that plague our children. The crime the divorce rates, the poverty, the food insecurity, the medical and health disparities, the mental health resources that are not there. So when we say, when we ask that question, how are the children? Overall, our children are not well. So when we look at the statistics and say, and we're, we're quick to punish our children, then we are the problem. We are causing the cancers that our communities are saddled with. So when I hear crime statistics, the first thing that pops in my mind is what are the causes? How are our children doing? So when we have opportunities like this in Flatbush Leadership Academy and the God Squad and principals like myself who go out there on a Saturday to meet with mentors, and who's still working on the program as I speak here today for a youth symposium that we're putting together as a result of conversations that I've had with them because these are the things that our children need. It is up to us to provide our children with the resources that they need. So when we ask the question, how are the children, if our only response is from a punitive perspective, then we are the problem. So how are the children? We need many more principals, many more assistant principals like Ms. Graham, my AP, who's here, who also served as a mentor. We need many more God squads. These are the answers to that question, how are the children? So let's continue as a community to work together because oftentimes we're just looking at the numbers alone. People oftentimes ask me, where do you get all of this energy from? I worked all day, right? <laughs> Left the school. I got an email, I think, either this morning or last night saying, are you still coming? I'm like, of course I'm coming because this is the job. The job doesn't end at 3 p.m. This is the job. This is a mission. This is my purpose. How are the children? You have to show up in spaces where the children need you. Today, the children had to take day one of the ELA state test. When we're talking about test scores, it is these different things that impact the test scores. We want stronger schools, then guess what? It starts with making sure that we have stronger communities. 
because stronger communities yield stronger families and therefore we will have stronger schools. So for me, it is all connected. I cannot be an effective principal if I never leave my office. I cannot be an effective principal if I never leave my school. It is reaching out to the community to make sure that we are proactive about minimizing these numbers and eradicating some of these barriers that the adults in society have put in place for our children. So I'm going to once again say congratulations to, to the graduates of the Flatbush Leadership 2021-2022 um, cohort. And let's make sure as we move forward in our community that we ask that question as often as we can. How are the children? Thank you.